All right, hello YouTube. I realize it's kind of dark, but what I'm hoping to do is show how to do the ground. If you're having problems with your lights, it's more than likely a result of the ground. Now, I shot this video and I'm re-recording over what I originally said, so bear with me if I'm a little uh, off here. Um, at the front of the trailer is the only ground of the trailer. It's a little bit dark, but that white wire screws into that side of the trailer, and you do need to sand off the paint where that screw goes into the trailer so that it's actually touching metal and not uh, paint because ground does not go through paint. And then this is one of the side marker lights where I've taken the screw out, I used a Dremel with a small sanding bit, and I sanded down the paint off the trailer, off the trailer frame, and that gave that screw connection to metal versus connection to paint, which allows it to get ground. So let me show you where I was at when I started the video. I had three of four lights on. I had the two on the left, and I had just the side marker light on the right side. And as you can see, the back tail light there is not working at all. So what I'm trying to explain here is the floating ground, you have to keep sanding, removing bolts and sanding paint off in order to get the bolts onto the steel frame to actually get ground. And you just don't know which which post or bar or part of the frame it's moving through. It could be the front one, the middle one, the back one, the two sides. It's just a, a pretty big hassle. So on this next clip, I'll show you the wire that I used to wire ground. All right, here I just want to show the wire that I'm going to use. Um, the ground wire on the trailer already is white. If you want to be, I guess, official or whatever, you can go buy some white wire. I had some yellow laying around. I had these little battery ends or whatever you call them laying around. Uh, basically, just strip the ends of the wire, crimp those on, and that's what I'm going to use to screw screw one in on the trailer, actual trailer ground, and then I'll just follow the wire of the trailer and screw it into the backlight that's not working. Um, but yeah, just uh, get some wire, get some of those ends, and uh, we're just about there to wrap up. Where's that piece in? Let me just show you here real quick. I'll go to the, go to the front. So, um, you can see right there, it's my yellow one that I added. Um, coming off the ground there and again on that ground just in that first segment you want to sand the the paint off the inside there so that screw is touching the, the actual trailer but you can see it just I'm not super done with my lighting yet I just wanted to make sure this works but that yellow one right there is my wire I ran it all the way back and uh, comes through and I just put it right where that nut is to tighten the actual light on and uh, so that's bypassing the floating ground and just wiring in the ground so let me show you the results here real quick all right there's my side marker left tail and voila right tails on you can see that one I've got trailer lights. Uh, yeah, not too bad. If you have any questions, uh, send me a message, leave a comment, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks a lot.